Growing up, we were all told the same thing. When fishing muddy water, use brighter baits, use darker baits. The fish can see them better. But what if I told you they were wrong? Hey guys, welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So, on today's video, I'm going to deep dive into muddy water fishing. You know, I'm showing some clips in the background right now. We caught a 40 fish limit. And only five of those fish were under 10 inches. And we caught an exclusive 2.02 pounder fishing in this dirty water. And you're not going to believe the baits and colors we were using. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. And let's jump right into this video. Naturally, when you're faced with muddy water conditions, the first thing that comes to your head, my head, everybody's head... Hey, we need to use brighter colors. You know, you, we need to use a color like Toad, a color like Crappy Man Green. We need to use bright colors like orange and, you know, etc. The list goes on. And I've believed this for many, many years. And I've fished this way for many, many years. And I have put fish in the boat this way also. But with live scope. You just learn so much on the water as you're fishing. And as you can see, you know, in these clips behind me, but you're never going to guess what colors were actually working. So when we first get there that morning, the, the whole idea in my head, you know, I'm going to throw toad, which is, you know, this color right here. It is a chartreuse, but it is a whiter chartreuse than, say, crappy man green has some black flake in it and i we've i mean i've put in i don't know eight limits in the boat in the past three weeks on that color so initially you know muddy water i'm going to use toad get there you know i'm throwing toad we catch probably 10 fish and then the bite just completely just they wouldn't chase the toad they wouldn't acknowledge that the toad was even in the water so you know i put on a crappy man green catch a few and I'm like, all right, I got them dialed in. And then lo and behold, they shut off again. And what do I do now? So I'm digging through my tackle box. I throw black and blue. The fish doesn't acknowledge that the bait's there. I throw uh, a yellowish pink color I got in my box. They don't acknowledge this there. So, and I remember the other day on the live stream, I was throwing a clear, uh, clear bait with... Uh, silver glitter a little bit of blue highlight powder but mainly clear it just got a blue hue to it as it goes through the water which we use to make the midnight bait as the bottom color of the midnight bait and the top color is just black copper so i put one of them on and as soon as this jig hits the water you know this water is probably maybe five inches of visibility i'll show you the color right here i actually have one this color right here. You see how clear this is? In the light, you can't really see the blue hue unless you were here in person. But as soon as this bait, I know I'll throw it in a little minute, hits the water, this dot just comes up and just grabs it. And I'm like, the water's muddy. How do these fish see this bait? And that's the main thing I wanna talk about in this video. Just because the water is muddy does not mean that the fish cannot technically see your bait. When the water muddies up, they're not looking for your bait. They are using their lateral lines, which is kind of like, you know, the movie where the guy's blind, Daredevil. It's kind of like the movie Daredevil. You know, he closes, well, he don't close his eyes, he's blind, obviously, Stephen. But, you know, he's blind, all right, so he's got his eyes closed. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he's got his eyes blind. He's blind. He, he can't see. Well, I don't know why I keep saying he's got to close his eyes. So, you know, his other senses just magnify. So when this water gets stained or muddy, these fish are solely relying on their lateral line to feel what's around them. And when they're in this creek channel during pre-spawn, they feel, you know, the shad that's going through the same creek channel and all that. And when that bait 
gets there and if it's got the same feeling as a shad which is why the little minnow was working and nothing else was at that time when this bait came through they could feel it and they would hit it by their face and they would the, the blob this is the blob i would have my bait up here you know the blob would come up you know he starts following it you jerk it up he either eats it or he goes runs away that's that's live scoping the problem was when i was using toad the blob would come up and he would get this close to the bait and he would go away he wouldn't commit so what i figured out guys is these fish cannot see your bait they can feel your bait but once they get up to the bait once they got up to this clear with a blue hue a little bit of sparkle and we also used monkey milk once they got up next to it they could see that bait when it was right here and that was the difference between them committing and them running away and it just mind boggles me that you learn these things through live scope is you know they can feel this bait coming down the water they come up here to check it out this is the blob on live scope they come up here to check it out and if it didn't look real when they got to it these bigger fish was gone but when you put a bait that's natural like this blue color that you know we don't even sell because it's, it's a part of another color when you put that in let's say monkey milk by the way guys it's the first time you're seeing this jig on this channel on the website now the little flick because this was a major part of the afternoon bite was this jig so we're going to shift into that so you know we've caught me and spencer have caught probably i don't know 25 fish we've got one two pounder in the boat the bite shuts off again can't figure it out they would they won't do anything so i'm like you know i'll tie this one on the wind started blowing and this is where this bait right here became one of the most deadliest things i have ever seen in crappy fishing you'll see from the clips after this from the clips playing behind my voice when i put on a monkey milk little flick these fish it didn't stand a chance because the way this tail works when the wind's blowing it's in the water just doing this in the current from the wind and their lateral lines are like oh my god dude i gotta go eat that and they would run up to this and with that tail just in the water this thing was in the back of their throats i had blood all over me from these fish and y'all know i hit these fish as soon as they touch it they were choking this bait in muddy water a monkey milk colored bait straight back to the guzzles i mean the hook was in their gills in muddy water so i just wanted to share with you guys that honestly in my opinion colors don't mean crap in muddy water it's the presentation is key and when those fish knows your bait and they don't commit you don't have the right color so i just told you colors don't matter but in reality they really do so if you're having struggles out there muddy water fishing stain water fishing tie on something that looks natural because when those fish come up there to check out your bait and they're not committing to it it's something they don't want so change the color to something natural put more slabs in your boat but i'm going to play the rest of the clips of today i hope you guys enjoy the video and remember guys hit the subscribe button right there it's free just like the knowledge i just dropped on you it's mind-blowing what you can learn with today's technology
much coke needed. <laughs> God almighty. I, mean, I don't know what I got, dude. Gosh, I'm gonna stay still. Stay still, buddy. You coming in the bird? God, oh, Marty, that is a fat fish. That's a fruit up. What would Jason T say? The magneto. <laughs> Golly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. Two oh two. Nice. Two oh two. Bite it. <laughs> you sucker. Uh, oh, we doubled up. <laughs> oh. I got a hee haw. <laughs> Can I hear more? I uh, know. <laughs> Oh, come here. <laughs> A lot of them just pulling up. They ain't even fat or nothing. I was like, me and my wife, we were running here the other evening, and we were catching them just like this with no live scope. God almighty. Ooh, that wow. two pounder. <laughs> That's a younder. I didn't think it was that big. That's a younder. Uh, eight pound line, and it works. Oh, hee haw! God dang. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> we gonna get weight on him. Where's my little scale at? In the boat somewhere. There it is. He, he probably ain't too, but he probably about 180 though. Oh, well, not even that big. He looked big though. 170. No, Still a good one though. Oh yeah. That's one to be proud of. <laughs> you got a baby. <laughs> I think. Uh oh, we running now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it was. Hey, as big as I thought. No. Uh, still a good one, though. That's a fat one. That's pretty small. A lot of people only catch them during the spawn, honestly. That's the only time they fish for them. Hey, another big one. Oh, God, I'm on it. He's in. <laughs> Me too, honestly. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Clear jig, dirty water. <laughs> uh, it's got like a, a little blue highlight in the middle of it. Freaking choking it so bad, they bleeding. Yeah. Yeah, you want it, don't you? Come on. That joker wanted it bad too. Yeah. God almighty. No, the damn toads, Minna. <laughs> I'm going to click. I'm trying to get one. Two more. <laughs> this one ain't that big, but he'll keep. <sighs> Oh, he is kind of big. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you snagged him? <laughs> no, he wrapped himself up. Uh -oh. <laughs> In the mouth, official. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm down. 
I am so down. I'm about to be in one of them uh little tournaments they got on YouTube. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh there he is. We done. <laughs> we'll take him out here. I thought that was a fit. Well, he got him a crappy. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right, number 40 in the boat. Oh, and that would be a tough day. yes, sir. I got to pull it out, dump them all out in the bed of my truck. Yep, you good? Raining slabs. <laughs> Hey, check the description for Waterlands Fishing. They sponsor today's video. They made some of the best fishing sunglasses on the market. You can see your live scope just crisp. So you got the spawn coming up. You need to see in the water. Go get you a pair. Link down in the description below.